Hi everybody, this is Jessica from Phase 2 Kitchen and this video you're about to watch is called How to Get the Meat Off of a Rotisserie Chicken. Rotisserie chickens are a handy thing that most grocery stores have that will save you a lot of time. There are a lot of recipes out there that require um, cooked chicken as one of the ingredients and so you have two options in that situation. You can buy raw chicken and make it cook it yourself and then begin the recipe that you want to try or you can just let the grocery store cook the chicken for you and then you use that and get on with your recipe. Things like pot pies, when you want to put some chicken on a salad, mix it in and make a chicken salad, uh, tacos, burritos, enchiladas, all of these kinds of things. If you buy a rotisserie chicken, you can either take that chicken meat off and shred it, or you can cut it in such a way that you can maintain the entire chicken breast, and then you just slice it nicely and put it on your salad. Um, and you can control whether it's white or dark meat to your taste preference. So it, it's a really pretty cheap, easy way to save you time in the kitchen. So, all, and all you have to do is know how to get the meat off, and that's what I'm gonna show in this video. And I'll also show at the end of the video how much um, of white and dark meat each you can expect to get off the chicken. So if you enjoy this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for Phase 2 Kitchen. And just know that I also have a food blog website where I do um, both recipes, meal suggestions, and food writing called phase2kitchen.com. And then I'm also on Instagram where I pretty much post something food related every day. So I'd love it if you could follow me on any or all of those platforms. Thanks and hope you enjoy this video. So the first thing you want to do is get your knife um, and just really carefully cut where you see this string. So that's wrapped on this one, wrapped around the back of it too. And come back around here, so there's one string. And what I usually do is I cut off all the limbs first and this is not hard at all because this has been um, cooked for a really long time so you don't even really need a knife so for example there you go there's a wing there's a wing and then you've got leg again you don't even really need to cut it take the leg off there's that and take the other leg off on this side see again don't need to cut it and So what I'm going to do is just start with the wings, and this is a kind of messy job, but it's super easy because this is so tender. So really you just kind of come in here, and you start taking off the skin. And again, this is where this, this bowl that I have off to the side is going to come in handy. I'm just going to throw all this extra stuff in there. Okay, so that's all the dark meat. I have this the chicken on its back. Here's the two breasts. There's two sides. There's a breastbone that goes right down the middle, right here. And so what you want to do is take the skin off. And again, just I'm using this on the side. Put all this in. Again, here's the rest of that dark meat on the back. You can pull this off now, or we can do this do this later. Actually, let's just do it now. Okay, again, even if you add that to my pile, you're still just under two cups on the dark meat. Okay, so now let's do the white meat. So there's a, there's a bone that runs right through here, and so what we're going to do is we're going to take the knife at an angle, and we're going to ride as close to this bone as we can, and we're going to slice it an angle down like that and around. So you find that meat eat bone, you can feel it as you're cutting. Just hold this side carefully, don't let your fingers slip in. And you just kind of cut down and at an angle. Kind of, It's totally okay to open it up, take a quick look. See where you're at. See, I can see oh, there's a little bone there. Keep slicing that way. And once you get to the bottom, 
there you go you just cut that right off there see so there's that you can kind of see right there that's the bone that we just cut along got a little extra there we can rip off but that's okay but this is if you if you want to have like a really pretty presentation say you're making a salad or something like that and you want it to look really nice and maybe not have anybody know that you didn't cook it keep it like that and turn this around again here's that bone so be careful hold it down on this side and then you just want to do the same thing on the other side find that bone cut around it pull this out a little bit cut down and there it is See? there's that side so there you go there's your second breast so you've got two left on here so you can see there's that breastbone right here and again I'm just gonna pull off the rest of it because there's nothing wrong with this meat that's for lack of a better word the chicken carcass so you've got it right in there throw that along with we've got one more little piece here and you can just put the top right on here there's your trash nice and contained Take this, and if you want to shred it, there's lots of ways. Some people take forks and scrape it like this. I just think it's easier to just take your hands and rip it apart because no one's going to see what every single piece looks like, and it doesn't need to be uniform anyway. So, okay. Got three cups of white meat. Let's bring this back over. And about two cups, just under, dark meat.